What's up? What's up? What's up? Yes, I saw that from Martin, y'all. We're back with another video, and this video is a pack with me for. That was a horrible drum roll. <laughs> for Tampa, y'all. We are finally going on our first trip to Tampa. Not our first visit to Tampa, but we are headed to Tampa tomorrow so that um we can check out some things for the vow renewal in October and look what's behind me. Look at that, y'all. So if you see, here's one of the dresses that I'm gonna wear. And then here's my Mrs. bag. And another dress that my sister purchased for me that I'm gonna wear one of the days in October. And then the bag with my gowns in it, y'all, but um, I know it's kind of dark in my bedroom and it's a junky mess. But yeah, I'm gonna gather all the things that we need to pack and then we're gonna take you in the other room and we're gonna get started, y'all. So stay with me for this video and I'll see you in one second. Bye. <laughs> okay, what's up, y'all? We are back, and I am so sorry if you see a glare on my glasses. I hate that. I might just actually go and switch them out for my contacts. Let me do that. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. It is not meant for me to make this video for some odd reason, and just like the last time, doing everything last minute, but... So, we're gonna start with Mel's item. And I'm gonna show you guys the outfits that I got for her. So, I picked her this little cute outfit up from Ross. Yes, we do shop at Ross. And it um, comes with two shirts. So, you can either wear the sleeve shirt or the tank style shirt with these cute tie-dye pants. And um, she has some tennis shoes in there that probably will match perfectly with these. I'm gonna go through her shoes just to make sure I match everything. Uh, she has this one piece romper Nike outfit that we're going to bring with us. It's really, really cute. The only thing I see wrong with it is it's thin, but she's gonna rock her white Air Force Ones with this, or she can rock the little cute um, closed toe sandals, some Nike sandals that her dad got her with it, but we'll see. This is another cute romper that Mel has. It just has some flowers on it. And then we got her like a little two dress set with uh, gold polka dots on it. And then another dress is very tropical floral with some flowers on it that looks like, you know, you're ready to go to the beach. And then the last outfit she got is one of those combo outfits again. So it comes with the tank. And it's in a really cute, um, I would say peachy orange kind of color. I hope it comes up on the camera very well. But she also has the sleeved shirt to go with the shorts as well. And this is so cute because it ties at the bottom. And it wouldn't be too cropped. I don't think so. Because I don't like to dress my daughter any older than what she should be. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to pick up her shoes and match the shoes with the outfits. And then we're going to go ahead and pack it in Mel's bag, guys. And Mel's dad is like a shoe head. So he always does an awesome job of like picking out shoes for her. And we're also going to bring, I don't have them upstairs, but y'all know. The jellies that we used to wear back when we were growing up. So I'm, I'll be 33 years old this year. So whoever's around my age and y'all used to rock jellies, comment down below and let me know if you remember those jellies. But Mel has some clear ones that we're going to bring with us just in case. Okay, so this is one of the pairs of shoes that I was talking about that would match so cute with the outfit. And because the light is so bright, you really can't see them. But these are like a peachy orange color. And these shoes will match very well with this outfit. So, that's perfect. Her dad, you know, wanted to get her some different kind of shoes. Because, you know, tired of wearing the same basic black and white shoes. And another thing, too, that I wanted to say, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, lately, when I've been making videos, I've never fixed up for you guys like never have no makeup on my wig all to the side 
whatever so the next couple of videos i am hoping that i will be a little more fixed up and put together for you guys <laughs> but um i don't know if we have anything in this i don't think so to match these cute little sandals right here i mean no that wouldn't really go so we're gonna leave these at home because she actually has um let me find it mel actually has uh another pair of those shoes that i just showed you guys in black like when i tell you her dad just decks her out he decks her out but we're definitely going to bring these because these can match with um you know dresses or anything of that nature and i think too i'm gonna bring mel a couple of more casual outfits i'll probably um do that off camera but we're definitely gonna bring these shoes because these shoes i believe match with this outfit especially around the neck here of this shirt so that'll be a real cute outfit together y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about my choices because i will be honest and say i am not a style guru um my husband is the one with all the fashion sense so because i really don't care i'm just gonna you know rock whatever so we're not gonna bring these pair of shoes So that's cool. I'm just gonna drop these shoes back in the box. I also too bought Mel a uh, shoe rack that we'll put that together um, when we come back. And I'll actually probably do that on video so you guys can put it together with me and we can uh, organize Mel's closet because Mel's room is all over the place right now but that's neither here nor there. But These are the white Air Force ones that she has and I want her to rock these with this outfit that'll be so stinking cute and just for safety measures i think i'm gonna bring the black pair of uh air force ones as well so that mel will be completely covered and we don't have to worry about her not having any shoes that to match so that's all of mel's clothes and like i said i'm gonna grab her um like some extra casual outfits just like traveling so how i like to pack is i generally put all the shoes on the bottom but since all these shoes are brand new i wouldn't care but um yeah so we're just gonna start here and put all the shoes on the bottom and this time you can't see in the bag but you can see me putting them in the bag so that's cool but y'all comment down below and let me know what are some packing tips that you have some different tips and tricks uh that you know you leverage when you're going out of town and you have kids or a child or whatever the case may be you know we're thinking about expanding our family and right now i definitely couldn't imagine having two little ones and packing for them especially with um you know the purpose of this trip now I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about why we're going down. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video that we're going down to Tampa to check out um, some of the venues that we have placed deposit on for our vow renewal. And we're also going for a cake tasting. Um, you know, we located a guy down there who makes cakes, uh, read the reviews, had some pretty great reviews and the crazy thing is and i can't wait to show you guys this is on the guy's website there was a cake on there and i'm not going to describe the cake or whatever but it's so funny how life works and this is why you have to watch my wedding series as well so you can see all of these developments as they happen but um it's so crazy how life works because the very cake that was on that guy's website is damn near identical to a cake that I saved in my phone 
in 2019 when I just knew that my husband and I were on the path of actually getting married you know we're we would always talk about becoming one and in my mind you know I had already started planning stuff so I saw this cake on Facebook and I was like hmm I was surprised you know my husband which then at the time boyfriend I was surprised him with this at our wedding you know I, I wouldn't have told him what the cake was but anyways so we decided to go with that exact cake so I can't wait to show you guys because it's just so funny how fate works and how everything has like fallen together with us but I am blabbing on um yeah I'm gonna show you the rest of the things that I have for milk okay so I'm gonna bring her shampoo and her conditioner I try to wash her hair every Sunday I've already washed it this week but because of there's some product in it and I literally just did her hair tonight um, just to make sure it stays fresh while we're down there I'm gonna bring her shampoo and conditioner with this and you know what I'm not even going to put these products in her bag because I would not want them to open up for anything to get on her clothes. So I'm going to put them in that bag. Uh, we also like to travel with books and toys for Mel so that we make sure, you know, she's uh, constantly active and doing what she's supposed to do. And there's one book about animals that I had out that's missing. I have no clue where it is. I mean, she must have taken it, but... This is a book that her grandmother got her and her grandmother actually recorded her voice and read the book in here. So if you guys have little ones or, uh, you know, you have grandchildren and you want to give them something nice, get them a book like this because they can always hear your voice and have your voice with them. And look at this, guys. So it wants to cut up on camera. <laughs> okay, but yes. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool book. And we also brought this book called Hair Love. Mel actually has double copies of this book. Her auntie got her this book. And then later on, uh, her Gigi, which is her grandmother that got her this book, uh, sent this same book down to us so it's a really great book so it's really good to have two copies so we're just gonna tuck those right on in there and then I have Mel some I have Mel some uh, pajamas socks bibs for when she eats and then um, two rags and a towel you know just to practice cleanliness and then I don't like washing her face with the same rag that I wash her body with because I'm the same way so I'll have to have two so we're just gonna drop those inside of Mel's bag and for the most part um oh yeah I forgot to show y'all we use baby Avino wash for her because she does have eczema and then we use the baby Avino soap I mean, <laughs> lotion. We also use Aquaphor on her for babies with sensitive skin, with eczema, psoriasis, um, any of those issues, and they are mild. You could definitely pick up some Aquaphor and use that on their skin because the thing is to keep the skin as moisturized as possible. And then, I should do a product review video on this, but my husband and I swear by this stuff. It's called sleepy berry and it's a healthy sleep cycle uh, that helps your children go to sleep so if you got little ones that's up at like 12 1 2 o'clock in the morning as Mel generally is give them some drops of this sleepy berry here and guess what it'll have them knocked right out <laughs> so Last thing that we have to do for Mel is just make sure that she has um, all her hair supplies and hair accessories. But I'm going to make sure that that goes in her bag and I'll do that off camera. And then we're going to move on to my clothes, y'all. Back again. So first, my SD card ran out. 
thank god my husband just bought me one for well it was like one terabyte or something so it's large now my battery just died so i had to go and get another battery and i'm putting the old one right here so i can just make sure everything's charged up tonight oh my gosh let me hurry up y'all <laughs> all right so for me i just have a simple pair of blue jean shorts I have a pair of black shorts and that probably was quick y'all blue jean black and then another pair of black shorts that i just bought that are really really cute and they have like a little bow in the front not sure if you can see it very well on camera but whatever um and these shorts the two that i first showed you are very important to me because when i got pregnant in 2019 i was unable to fit a lot of my clothes and then in 2020 of course after pregnancy you know i had gotten you know way up there in the numbers and i happen to say i've lost 44 pounds so if you would like oh wait 45 pounds if you like for me to do a video on how I did that, please comment down below and let me know. But um, yeah, in 2020, I was still very heavy after pregnancy, couldn't fit any of my clothes. And I just tried these shorts on um, probably about two weeks ago um, and they fit. So I'm very happy about that. So those are going in the bag. And in my bag, I already have underwear, um, towels and rags, sleeping wear, all that good stuff. Uh, with me, I'm also bringing this really cute shirt. It's like a uh, beige and polka dot. And sorry guys, uh, Mel is over there in the corner enjoying her snack and watching Coco Melon. And I also have the fan going because this light is really, really hot, but I'm so glad my husband bought it for me. I really appreciate him for that. You're, you're the greatest husband. But I also have this olive green cute little shirt right here. Next, I purchased this Calvin Klein dress. Never worn Calvin Klein before, but I'll try it. This is like a little casual dress. We'll give it a try. And I'm folding as I go, guys. Uh, next thing I bought was like this oversized hoodie shirt. It's probably going to be too hot in Tampa for this. But I know that um, we do want to go to the casino. Maybe a night or two while we're there. So I could probably have something warm to wear while I'm in the casino. I also am bringing this Michael Kors shirt here. This is a black simple shirt. And I am bringing this other Calvin Klein dress. Now, uh, I may not wear all of these. I hope you guys can see everything. But of course I may not wear everything because we're only gonna be there from Thursday evening to Sunday morning. So of course there's not enough days to wear all of these items but you know as a lady you want to be you know well prepared for anything <laughs> i am also bringing with me just a couple of workout shirts and some um camisoles in various colors like blue olive green tan and burgundy just in case um I get hot because I'm a person who definitely gets overheated very quickly. So uh, starting off with fewer clothes on will probably help me while we're there. And I'm also going to bring with me a pair of workout shorts and then two pairs of black leggings. You can never go wrong with having some black leggings with you because you can quickly throw them on if your legs get cold at night. And of course they match with literally everything. This time, um, I'm not going to bring a whole bunch of tennis shoes. Uh, since being with my husband, I am a shoe head now. And y'all, I noticed I said uh and um a lot. And I'm going to need you guys to help me with that. 
but we'll talk about it later. But yes, I am now a shoe head, you know, since being with my husband, because he really got my shoe game up, but I'm not gonna bring any of my little colorful cool shoes. It probably wouldn't match with these neutral tones. Anyway, so, with that being said, I'm just gonna bring one pair of black Air Maxes, and I wanna say, these are 95, wait, am I right? I don't know, my husband probably killed me because I should know this. But yeah, I'm gonna bring one pair of uh, Air Maxes. I think they're 95 or 97, it's probably 95. Then I'm going to bring these cute little sandals right here. And these sandals were about eight bucks or so at Ross. And they had so many pairs in there, y'all. So every heifer in Atlanta is going to be wearing these shoes. But they're made by Top Moda, M-O-D-A, however you say that. And all of those clothes, too, that I showed you in the beginning, they came from Ross. So everything came from Ross minus the Nike Air Max. Um, and the workout materials and the camisoles. Camisoles, you can get those from Walmart, of course. But these came from Ross, and the clothes that we started off with came from Ross, as well as Mel's clothes that came from Ross. And I have two Ross videos up on the channel if you love Ross and you just want to go watch me shop at Ross. And the last pair of shoes that I'm going to bring are these. These Madden flies, and they have like the little clear thingy right here. And my husband actually got these off of Amazon for me for Mother's Day, and I think they go for about 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon. So if you're interested, they're not the most comfortable thing, but they are so cute to wear with dresses and um, shorts with like a little dressy shirt or whatever the case may be. But I don't know if I'm gonna regret not bringing any additional tennis shoes, but we'll see i i think i should be fine <laughs> now the last thing that i do have to pack in my bag is toiletries for myself um of course my wigs those are very important and y'all i'm so 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 excited because i'm getting a new wig for the vow renewal and that should be coming within the next two weeks and i'll do a review on that wig because um i got it from black owned company uh one of the youtubers that i watch actually has a bob wig from this company and i loved how that bob looks but yeah i went on ahead and made my order so stay tuned for that video as well last thing we're gonna go over is um my technology bag so I am working half days, uh, two of the days that we are there. So I'm going to bring my work laptop. I have to bring my work badge because in order to pick up the rental car, I'll need my work badge. But um, just wanted to show you guys that, of course, I'm going to be bringing my iPad. And I have this cool little ring light here and it's upside down that I got from um, Amazon. And it works pretty well, if I must say. But it comes on a little stand. You stand it on your tabletop. But of course, for this to work, it has the USB plug-in. So you'll want to bring your laptop or something that this can go into. Or you can just use one of um, the little ends of your phone charger and then plug it in that way. And then this actually just came in today from my job. Hopefully you guys did not see the name at the top of that, but I just hit it. But this also has um, the USB plug-in. And the cool thing with this is at the bottom, you screw in a little stand and it clips on a desk, table, dresser, whatever the case may be. <laughs> and I know I just threw that. But I'm also bringing my iPad and my um my little what is it it's like a new hard drive that my husband bought me but yeah so i'm gonna go gather the rest of my toiletries and we have to take baths it's okay we have to take baths and all that fun stuff but um i know this video may not have been as exciting as last pack with me 
video because in that one I was running around the house and we were able to pack the car and show you guys that but um if you're traveling anytime soon please comment down below and let me know where you're traveling to let me know if you like this style of pack with, pack with me video or if you like the orlando pack with me video so i know what to do for the next one but i love you guys so much if you made it to the end of the video guys thank you thank you thank you as always make sure you like comment share this video and ultimately subscribe so that you can become a part of the what the cutie crew y'all will know that if you watch the other videos but like i said i love y'all so much and please 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 whatever you do don't forget to stay cool calm and proper <laughs>